Hello friends, this is Dr. Hamo again, and uh, we're uh, discussing today multivessel um, PCI. This is 92 years old, 92 years old, but very active person. And he presented with acute monistic elevation MI, found to have also severe cardiomyopathy. Um, diagnostic angiogram showed multivessel disease as you see here, but turned down from bypass surgery and referred to me for multivessel PCI. You see here the distal left main involved, 70, 70, 80%. The LED is like 90, 95%. And of course, heavily calcified vessels. And it's different to view. We have a Ramis or high OM also, like 90%. Here, the RCA also, I'm uh, 90% proximal, so opted to fix the RCA, which is easier first and then this is JR and there is um, uh, 2 5 balloon and then 3 5 38 stent and then 4 0 oh, 15 stent high pressure overlapping and here is the final results for the RCA then moving gear toward the left system this is XB 3 5 so um, the plan here, we're gonna um, uh, fix the LED toward the left main. We're gonna ignore this um, uh, vessel for now, the Ramis or the um, uh, OM, high OM. Again, this is 92 years old. So we fix the RCL, let's fix the left main and the LED. And here is the um, crane view. And you see how bed calcified the lesion here in this area which required um, shock wave so again we're going to use the um, uh, guideliner for support and you see the wire is stuck here it's not passing because it's very tight and you can hear the squeaking of the um, uh, calcium on it um, of course you're going to support it by two o balloon two o balloon sometimes won't pass um, so have to do some inflation and then after that advance it to the um, uh, with the guideliner distal but here I have to advance um, over a short balloon also inflated high pressure then do the um, shock wave 3 -0. so here the 3 -0 shock wave and then now we can tell where we're gonna place the stands. Um, we're gonna fix this segment first, then we advance the stand to the distal. Um, so here we have the first stand, actually 3-0 and then 3-5 toward the left main. 3-0 and the LED, I divided two short stands to allow it and expand it. Um, uh, and then pull the guide and here we have nice result toward the left main we still have this area so we're gonna advance now the um, balloon and then after inflating the balloon advance the guide liner and then once you have the guide liner distal then of course it's not gonna damp the pressure because we have already um, fixed it and now the longest stent will pass, and this is 2 5 um, 38 stent. 2 5 38 stents will pass easily. And then this is inflation at high pressure, then you pull it and uh, also make sure everything okay. And here is the final. Of course, this one we said we're gonna leave it, and then here is the um, LED diagonal. They have nice flow, and then we have the this the left main also. Nice flow. All right, thank you for watching. I just uh, like to um, share it with you for multivessel heavily calcified lesions when they turn down from uh, surgery, and again sometimes we have to fix the proximal mid segment to allow passing the um, guideliner and fix the distal um, at the end. Thank you.